Oh, yes, yes, yes. How are you once again? Wednesday. Yes, the first Wednesday in February. What is this, the second day? This is the third day of February. Wow, we've reached the month of love, as they say. Uh, Black History Month. But every month is Black History Month to me. Uh, every month is really the month of love. But you know how we how we do the month of love. Amen. Valentine's Day. you got to think about that love in your life. All right, that's fine. Uh, this is Black History Month, and what a history, black people, we have. Amen. Praise the Lord. We don't have to be shamed. Take a back seat to anyone, for we have a rich history. Amen. Trials and tribulations, but we've yet made it thus far. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I want everyone uh, listening, amen, everyone listening to turn to Matthew, the seventh chapter. This is part of the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew seventh chapter. Amen. Matthew seventh chapter. I'm going to begin with verse number 13. Matthew the seventh chapter, verse number 13. Matthew seven and verse number 13. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are soldiers of the Lord. Every round goes higher, higher. Every round goes higher. Higher, every round goes higher, higher. We are soldiers of the Lord. Rise, shine, give God the glory. We ought to rise, shine, we give God the glory. Ooh, rise, shine. Give God the glory, we are soldiers of the cross. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. Oh, we are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are soldiers of the cross. Oh, my, my, my. Soldiers of the cross. Amen. Every round goes higher and higher. We're climbing Jacob's ladder. Amen. Father God, we come Graciously, oh God, before your throne of grace, thank you once again, Heavenly Father, for another day. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the greatest gift that you've given us. That's the gift of your darling son, Jesus Christ, the one that hung, bled, and died on the cross. Offer us a right to the tree of life, and through our faith in him, we have the hope of salvation. And Lord, we thank you for things being as well as they are, and we thank you for your word. Through your son, Jesus Christ, has brought to us the gospel of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word. We ask that you would manifest yourself through your word. Oh, yes, through your word to us. It will be better and better equipped to go out and spread the liberating gospel, the good news, hallelujah, of the liberating gospel of Jesus Christ to everyone we come in contact with. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Now, Matthew, the seventh chapter and the 13th verse. Now, there's much to discuss in the seventh chapter, but I'm just going to discuss a couple of things this uh, evening from Matthew, the seventh chapter, the 13th verse. Amen. Talking about the straight gate. Amen. Straight gate. What in the world is the straight gate? Amen. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Uh, 13th verse, 7th chapter of Matthew, enter ye in at the straight gate. Wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in, my, 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 thereat. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way 
which leads unto life, and few there be that find it. Mm. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes and thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth forth good fruit is not bringeth forth good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. Let me read that 19th verse again. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit, ye shall know them. Hmm. By their fruits, ye shall know them. My, my, my. What a powerful section. Amen. What a powerful part of the scripture. Very profound part of the scripture. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, let's just discuss a few of those verses. Amen. Praise the Lord. First of all, first of all, there's only one way to get in. Yeah, yes, yes. There's only one way. There's only one way to get into the sheepfold, one way to get into heaven, one way. Getting to the kingdom my, my, of heaven. Ain't but one way. Ain't but one way to get into the kingdom of heaven. Ain't but one way to get into the kingdom of God. You can't get into the kingdom of God but one way. Even here on earth, the kingdom of God, you can't get in it but one way. Ain't gonna be no going around the side, coming up, no gate, no fence, jumping in. You can't, you can't get in. Mm -mm. No, you can't get in. The body of Christ, the kingdom of God here on earth, you cannot get into it unless you come through the gate. You cannot get into the kingdom of heaven. Oh, no, no. You can't get in down here. You know you can't get in up there. You can't do it. There's a gate that you must enter. Lord, help us. Enter ye in at the straight gate. <laughs> For wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Hmm. That's letting you know right there, if you uh, those two verses put together, 13th and 14th verse, Matthew 7th chapter, 13th and 14th verse. Uh, put those two verses together, let you know that it's going to be a whole lot of people. Regardless of the way they look, regardless of the way they sing, regardless of how good they are, uh -huh, how much they invite you to their house, how much uh, uh, fun you had with them, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to find the wrong direction. Fewer that's going to find the right direction. It's still going to be a lot of people that find the right direction, but it's not going to be near as many finding the right direction as finding the wrong direction. There's a whole lot of folk that's going to go the wrong direction. Why? Because wide is the gate. Isn't that what it says? Entry through the straight gate. Wide is the gate. Hmm. Narrow is the way on the other side, but wide is the gate. If you got something real wide, more folk can go in it, right? <laughs> if the road is wide, more folk can get on it. But that gate that's narrow, that way that's narrow, that way that goes through the straight gate is narrow. The gate is straight, and the way to get to it is narrow. So only so many folk can get on it. You know why that is, don't you? Wide means it encompasses a lot. Narrow, it encompasses less. Huh? You can't do anything and still go through the gate. You can do anything, a lot of things that go through the through, 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 through this gate that's wide to destruction. And that, that, but the gate that's that's that has that narrow way, which is the way of, of, of the gospel, there are do's and don'ts on that one. So it's narrow. You can't do whatever you want to do. You can't straddle a fence and mess around. In one day, out the next day, sending on Monday, straighten up a little on Tuesday, 
man, go to Bible study on Wednesday, or at least some people do, and, or if, and even if you do, and then mess up on Thursday, and go out partying all night Friday, and say, then get up, you, know, you can't, no, hey, there's no mixing, narrow is the way, so therefore, since that gate is so wide, all Jesus is saying here, many folks, the bright lights, power, prestige, money, all that, lots involved there. And then the, the narrow gate ain't so much of all of that. Because in that gate, uh, 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 you're following Jesus, and Jesus wasn't, wasn't interested in, in, in bright lights. He wasn't interested in money. He wasn't interested in the power and the prestige. And he wasn't teaching none of that. So it's a little narrow. A little narrow here now. You got to walk down this narrow way. And we don't want to walk down narrow. Now, that's just, uh, I, can't, I can't get out and be me. It's too narrow. It's too, too constructed. It's too constrictive. Uh, 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 it's got too many do's and don'ts. My goodness. Too strict. I got to get in that narrow. Look at how wide that gate is. It's kind of narrow trying to get to that gate over there. But uh, look how wide that gate is. My goodness, I believe I can make it over there. So it's it's it's, it's much more alluring. Uh-huh. It lures people. That wide gate. Mm. Lures people. Uh, broad is the way that leads you to destruction. Many there be which go in there. It's intriguing. It's exciting. You understand? I get to do what I want to do. Oh, my goodness. All kinds of things happening over here. Wow. Drinking and partying and rebel rousing and chasing women and women, uh, running, men. Oh, my goodness. Let's do what we want to do. Have a good time. Because that's a narrow, ain't too much constriction on that, on that road. It's broad. You know what it said in 13? It's broad is the way. That leads you to destruction. Lots of people's going to find it. Many. Huh. But in the beginning it says, enter ye in at the straight gate. Because, in the 14th verse, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way. Which lead it unto life and few there be that find it. That means compared to how many that ought to find it, it's going to be few. Don't take that, 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 that few to mean well, only five people or 10 people, 144,000 get in. No, a lot of folk can get in, but it's going to be few compared to who should get in, who, who at least have the opportunity to get in. It's going to be few. A few to God is a whole lot to us. Oh, my goodness. So you enter in at the straight gate. The wide gate offers you a lot. You see, you see folks uh, going for that wide gate, Hollywood, Hollywood, why? Oh man, partying, drinking, money to be made, hallelujah. And people who will deceive others for, for, for gain, personal gain, people who will oppress others for personal gain and get away with it. Wide is that. Uh, 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 broad, should we say, what the King James Version calls it, broad is the way. Versus, uh, broad is the way, uh, broad is the way, yes, that leads to destruction. But narrow is the way that leadeth to eternal life. Unto eternal life. Unto. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If you notice, it says to destruction. Unto eternal life. Oh my goodness! You go in unto something. That means you're you 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 you're going in humbly. Just to go to destruction, you can be haughty, high-minded, and everything. Go to something. Yeah, go to destruction. That's where that that's where that haughtiness and high-mindedness gonna take you is destruction. But if you are humble, following the commandments, you go unto your humble. And you're expecting something, and you're going to get eternal life. Unto life. Yes, living, real life. But while you are uh, 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 in that broad way, broad, 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 kind of make you think about New York, a broad way. 
and that wide gate that you can go in. It's easy to get in it. Something is wide. It's easy to get in. And that's why people take it. It's easy to get in it. My goodness, you've got to you you you've got to live right. Do some things. My goodness, it's not as easy for people. Uh, folk don't want to love. Oh, they'd rather hate. Folk don't want to see their fellow man up. They'd rather see him down. Folk that 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 would want to oppress. Folk that are narrow minded folk that are, are are narcissistic, folk that 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 that, that are greedy. And oh, do we have a lot of that in the United States of America? You got it all over the world, but we live in America, so I'm just talking about America. And they're on that broad way. And that gate is so wide. So it's so easy to wind up going through it. And that's what's going to happen to many people. They're going to wind up going through that wide. They, that people will go in because the lifestyle that they're living fits only in the wide gate. Doesn't fit in the straight gate, the narrow one. Where the broad way leads up to the narrow gate. No, 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 no. Narrow way. God help us. Mm. Narrow is the way that leads to the straight gate. Narrow. It leads to uh, life. And few there be that find it. Mm. And don't be led to it by false prophets. <laughs> Jesus points that out. Don't be led to it by false prophets. Don't be led to it by false prophets. Don't allow someone. Mm. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves and they come to you. My, my, my. They come to you and uh, if you're not aware and beware of them, they'll lead you down that broad way. Oh my goodness. They'll lead you down that broad way that goes through that wide gate of destruction. Don't let false prophets lead you. There's many false prophets and we got a lot of them. We got a lot of them. Don't let false prophets. You better get, oh man, be led by somebody that's real. Don't be led by false prophets, false teachers and preachers. Don't do it. Because you're going to be led down uh, that broad way that goes through that wide gate. Mm. But you want to be led down the narrow way that goes through the straight gate. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Oh, my goodness. Narrow way. Mm. That goes through the straight gate. And you won't get there if you are not aware of false prophets and follow false prophets which come to you as sheep's clothing like they're all so humble and, and, and so got your best interest in heart but they don't they're actually ravening wolves getting whatever they can Hallelujah. they'll devour you my goodness don't be led by them well if you don't want me to be led preacher by a false prophet. You don't want me to choose the wide gate, the broad way, but rather choose the narrow way that goes through the straight gate. Uh-huh. You want me to choose that way and therefore choose uh, 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 a true leader, true preacher, true prophet, rather than the false prophet. Then how can I do that? How do I know? who the false prophet and the good prophets are. How do I know who the men and women of God are versus the men and women of the devil? <laughs> Those that are false. I don't want to go down that wide gate. Hmm, I don't want to go through the wide gate, let me say, the wide gate uh, uh, down that, 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 that broad way through broad way. Hallelujah. New broad way. 
All kind of things happen on Broadway. Then Broadway is busy. Broadway through that wide gate. How do I prevent myself from being misled? Well, the word of God lets you know when you've been. If, you, if you're a child of God, you got that word of God, the spirit will speak to you. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what will the spirit speak to you and do? Well, verse 16, ye shall know them by their fruits. Oh, my goodness. Don't you know that that's the biggest problem a lot of folk have? Is they ignore the fruits. They ignore the fruit. If you ignore the fruits, then you're subject to following someone who's false. Being a member in the church where, they, where, where, where the preacher is false, false prophet. Lord help us. Hmm. <laughs> my, my. Ye shall know them by their fruit. And a lot of people that they just they ignore the fruit. They don't they see the fruit and they just they turn their head the other way to the fruit. Yeah, they turn their head to the fruit. A lot of people do it. It's my friend, so I ain't gonna pay attention to what he's doing. The fruit is bad. But I'm not, I'm not paying attention. That's my friend, it's my brother, it's my sister, it's my daddy, my mama. That's that's, that's them. And it's uh, it's all right for me. I'm on that wide road, that 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 going to that wide gate, and it's really destruction. I'm going to destruction, but 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 uh, I don't see that. I, I see myself having a good time going down that broad way through that wide gate, ignoring the fruit of the one that's leading me, because mm. I'm feeling good. Oh my goodness, I'm benefiting perhaps from that false pride. Might be. A lot of people ain't going to benefit from the false prophet. They're like ravening wolves. And you know them by their fruit. And many of us don't want to look at the fruit. We ignore the fruit. It's right there in front of us. But we ignore the fruit. Many of us ignore the fruit because we don't know where to go. We don't know what the fruit ought to be. So therefore, since we don't know what the fruit ought to be, we don't recognize uh, false prophets. We cannot tell them or see them or know them because we really don't know what the root fruit is because we don't know the word of God. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? You don't get grapes from thorns. You know that. You don't get figs from thistles. <laughs> grapes come from the vine. Figs come off the tree. Not my goodness. You ought to do the same thing when you're judging who you hang around. Huh? What leader of the church you at, or leaders anywhere that you see and hear. Beware of false prophets. And you'll know them by their fruit. Don't be led down the wrong way. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Hmm. You don't gather grapes and thorns and, and, and figs and thistles? My goodness. Uh, you ought to be able to pick out, amen, what good fruit is. You ought to see it. You know what the commandments of the Lord is. You know what the what the 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 the, the, the uh, will of God is. That is if you're reading his word. If you're reading his word, and uh, you know what it says, the wages of sin is death. You know what sinful things are. You know if you've read God's word. A lot of us don't read, so we don't really know what bad fruit. We don't consider bad fruit. We ignore it pretty much. We ignore bad fruit. And that's something that we shouldn't do is ignore bad fruit. We got uh, uh, preachers and teachers and all these kinds of people and high up in the church. And uh, we ignore uh, uh, what they do. Many times, don't we don't pay no attention to what they are doing. But the Bible plainly tells us, oh my goodness, not to ignore the fruit. Hmm. God have mercy. Not to ignore the fruit. Not to ignore the fruit. And, 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 and James, James, the third chapter, third chapter of James, and the 13th verse says, who is a wise man that endured knowledge among you? Hmm. 
or rather the, 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 the 12th verse. Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh? Then it says, who is the wise man? that does not? Uh, uh, and that, that third chapter of James in the 13th verse lets you know you, it's one of the, you, 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 figs, you can't get, oh, I'm, I'm, you can't get fruit uh, from thistles. You can't get fruit uh, uh, from things other than vines and trees. You cannot get it. Prophets that don't bear fruit or the fruit is not good fruit Let's you know, oh my, 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 stay away. Mm. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. So we got evil and good. But we identify, and don't mind, don't mind the evil, if we don't read God's words and we're susceptible to evil ourselves. But if we're susceptible to good, then we'll avoid the evil. Evil fruits. Yes, evil fruits. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a man, can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not, well, well, well let, me, let, me, let, me, let me do that. Let me do that 17th and 18th verse again. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Now, listen, if you got a preacher, if you got a pro someone leading, and all of us really fit into this category, and we're professing one thing, but doing another. If I'm pastoring the church, and I got three babies by different women in the church and married man on top of it. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Reverend. Oh, Reverend, just we, we can forgive and, and we're all God's children and we make mistakes. No, 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 we can forgive. We're not all God's children and that wasn't no mistake. Huh? Mistake is when you meant to do something, turns out that you, that, 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 that you didn't do what you meant to do. <laughs> that ain't no mistake. Haven't, haven't you? Oh, no, 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 no. Sinful things. We, no, we done that on purpose. No, no, no. I meant to turn left on, on Washington Street. And when I got up to Washington Street, I'm talking to her. Oh, Lord, I made a mistake and went past Washington Street. That's a mistake. Oh, my goodness. Fornication ain't no mistake. You meant to do that. That's not a mistake. False prophet. People who seem like this, but then yet they're, they're I mean, they're, 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 they seem like they're in sheep's clothing. Appears good. Always appears good. But are you looking at the fruit? Oh, oh, what kind of life are they living? You can see it. You don't have to be in nobody's house all the time, in the bedroom all the time, to see some good fruit or bad fruit. If they're having relations around the church, kind of a bad fruit, wouldn't you say? And a good tree cannot bring forth corrupt fruit. That's, at the Bible. That's what it says. I'm reading it out the Bible. Hmm. False prophets. Yes, 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 yes. False leaders, teachers. All these people who are supposed to be men of God, women of God. And deceiving one another and deceiving Lord have mercy, the flock. Mm. Lord help us, help us, help us, help us. Every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the lake of fire. That's what's going to happen. Uh, someone who, oh, preaching, I mean, that he can preach. And because he can preach, we ignore some of the things he does. No, oh, my goodness, my goodness. If he preaches well, if he looks good, he's elegant, we ignore some of the things that he does. Never mind the fact that he's married and got three girlfriends in the church. Okay, okay, all right. But never mind that. He looks good, he preaches well. We ignore that. 
He's false. Ah, it's not the truth. God is not in him. Mm, mm, mm. My, my, my. Cussing folk out. Being mean and, 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 and contrary. That's not, a, that's, not a, that's not a prophet. That's false. Doing things contrary to God's fruit that you bear will tell who you are. Mm. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns? My, my, my. A corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Good tree bringeth forth good fruit. A good tree can't bring forth corrupt fruit. Oh my goodness, a corrupt tree can't bring forth good fruit. That's just, that ain't no need of us going, trying to go around. The word of God is the word of God. And we, 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 we need to take it at its word. You cannot get in to the straight gate if you're on that wide, that, that, that road at least. You can't do it. And certainly if you're following a false prophet, they're going to lead you the wrong way. And we have false prophets all the time, false prophets all the time. And sometimes you think the world of them. And then you find out that the fruit, Lord help us, the fruit, the deeds of their lives, what they do, that's fruit. Ah, uh, yes, the works that they do. That's your work and your fruit. Hallelujah. What did you bear? My goodness, what did you bear? And if what you bore was corrupt, then that you are a falsehood, false prophet, and should not be followed. Do not follow false prophets. Someone who is outside the will of God, false prophets. Someone that says and preaches one thing does another false prophet. My, my, my. False prophets. Doesn't love their neighbor. False prophets. False prophets. Won't be good. Help one another. False prophets. Only concerned about themselves. False prophets. High minded. Hardiness, false prophet. That is corrupt fruit. Corrupt fruit, corrupt fruit, corrupt fruit. How do you know them? By their fruit. Don't ignore the fruit. What you see is what you get. Don't ignore the fruit of people that you see, especially if they're calling themselves men and women of God. Pay attention to the fruit. What do they bear? Hmm. What do you see? What kind of life do they put in front of you? What kind of works do they put in front of you? No matter what they say, what do they do? Hmm. My, my, my. What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? Don't be led by false prophets. You're going to go down that broad street, that broad road, that broad way through that narrow, uh, rather a wide gate, and you're going to wind up in destruction. Destruction. And this day and age that we're living in, there are so many false prophets in this world today, in your neighborhood, maybe even in your church. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Maybe even in your congregation. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and how do I know? You've got to know and you need to know because it says beware. He wouldn't say beware if he didn't want you to know who they were. False prophets. You shall know them by their fruit. Beware of false prophets. If you didn't have to pay attention, then he wouldn't say beware. <laughs> Oh, my God. Does a fountain send forth at the same time 
sweet water, oh my goodness, and bitter water? Do you get both? Ah, my, my. Fig tree, mm. bear olives or berries? I don't think, I mean, you, you know, you know, you know, watch, 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 watch. Always be vigilant to the kinds of, 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 of leaders you are deciding to follow. Uh, 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 make sure when you see that the fruit is good, all right, all right, all right, then the tree is good. If the fruit is good, the tree is good. If the fruit is corrupt and not good, then it's going to be hewn down and cast into the fire. You know how Jesus said before every branch that's in him uh, is going to be cut off that's not good and cast into the fire. My, my, my. Any branches that are not good, any trees that are not good, not bringing forth good fruit, will be hewn down, cut down, and thrown into the burning fire. Destruction is all you have to look forward to if you're tearing down that broad way that gets you through the narrow gate to destruction. If you follow someone, they just may lead you to that destruction. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Children of God. We go through the narrow gate. We can go through the narrow gate. We have uh, the power. We have the stability. We have uh, uh, what it takes. We have the long suffering, whatever, to go down that long, uh, narrow road. We don't mind it being narrow. We ain't following false prophets. We want to get away from false prophets. We'll shun false prophets. We don't want to be bothered with false prophets, with evil doers, where the fruit is corrupt. We don't want to be bothered. My, my, my. You better watch what, you better watch, you better watch where you are. You better watch, you better be mindful. Don't ignore the fruit. Don't ignore the fruit. Don't ignore the fruit. Hmm. My goodness. Somebody won't love their brother up in the pool pit or something preaching teaching, prophesying, whatever, and don't love that brother. <laughs> ah, what kind of what kind of fruit? Mm, that's hatred. Spew out that kind of fruit. That's what they bear. Mm. My God, my God, my God. Think of themselves all the time. Go visit others. Don't comfort no one. What kind of fruit is that? And doing other things, their works, way of living. Lord have mercy. No giving, always taking. Always receiving, no giving. They appear. A lot of them will appear now, all right. Will appear to be all right. Preach good, teach good. Well, you should appear to be all right, but you look at the whole picture, the whole life, and you'll find out that if there is fruit that is not good, corrupt, then it came from a corrupt or not good tree. Mm. Be careful. Enter through the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Many find it. And straight is the gate that you need to go through. And narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. Few that find it. Beware of false prophets. You'll know them uh -huh, by their fruit. Evil cannot bring forth good. Good cannot bring forth evil cannot bring forth. You cannot, if you're a good, you cannot bring forth evil fruit. Your works and what you bear will not be evil. So a prophet, you won't see evil fruit. You will not see evil fruit. 
My goodness. All right, 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 right. Till next time. My, my, my. Till next time. Beware. Go down that narrow way to the straight gate.